Once upon a time, Jesus was born with the animals. In uh, is this? This is the. It's the same Jesus, right? The this is King of Kings, Jesus, right? Lord, the King of Kings, Jesus. Okay, so King of Kings, Jesus, Lord of Lords, Jesus was born in a barn. How do you, how do you get, how do you, how do you get, how do you get born in a, in a barn? Well, uh, Mary, his mother, Mary is pregnant. And that is a whole different story for a whole different time. Mary is pregnant and she's engaged to be married to Joseph. And the Caesar of the time, he issues a decree for a census to be taken. And everybody is to leave where you are, leave where you're living, everyone's to journey back, back to your hometown to be registered and to be counted um, among the census. And so Joseph and Mary leave where they are and they go to return to Joseph's hometown, the little town of Bethlehem. And they arrive in Joseph's hometown. And they're not the only ones to arrive there. Everybody's part of the census. Everyone's traveling. The roads are crowded. The streets are crowded. The cities are crowded. And the inns are crowded. And the motels are crowded. And the hotels are crowded. And the resorts are crowded and the bed and breakfasts are crowded and everything is crowded and there's nowhere for them. How is there nowhere for them to go stay? This is Jesus that we're waiting on, right? Right. This is the this is King of Kings, Jesus and Lord of Lords, Jesus and and Mary's been pregnant with him and, and pregnancy on its own is a is a journey. And now it seems like their journey is almost done and it's only getting harder. There's nowhere to stay. They're turned away from every door uh, and the only place that they're not turned away from is a uh, manger with the animals. And so they take it. And this is where, this is where Mary is gonna give birth it doesn't seem like the setting for a king to enter the world. I mean, this is, this is chaos. You're in a, in a room with animals, there's sheep and there's cattle and there's goats and, and I don't know how noisy it is or how loud it is or how uncomfortable it is. I'm also reminded that it's a silent night, that it's a holy night. I bet the animals know what's happening. I bet, I bet the sheep are quiet. I bet the cattle are quiet. If even, the, if even the rocks will cry out to praise God, how much more will a living creature sit in awe and reverence of the coming of a king? In this circumstances, they look like chaos, but I think what looks like chaos is an invitation to peace, to rest, not just to rest on hay or to rest on the soft wool of the sheep laying behind you, but to rest in the knowledge that hope is coming. Right, this journey from the promise of, of the King to the birth of Jesus is an invitation into peace. This is an invitation to wait, but to wait with anticipation and to wait with expectation, and to wait not from a place of fear or from a place of chaos or from a place of anxiety, but to wait in the peace that is the coming of God. And that peace is coming to us 
for Christmas.